builds up of silt in the tank, raises the tank bed, thus decreasing the water holding capacity of the tank. To restore tank efficiency, good forest cover must be maintained in the catchment areas. Feeder channels must also be regularly desilted to ensure optimal collection and regulation of harvested rainwater. Bunt, sluice gates, and excess weirs also need regular maintenance as foliage and burrowing animals weaken these structures. Leaks around sluice gates and excess weirs cause wastage of precious tank water. A weakened bunt is prone to breaches. Until the breach is repaired, the tank lies dry, leaving large areas of arable land fallow due to the lack of vital irrigation during the crop growing season. In Anantapur district, the villagers of Bhusayadari Palli have returned to agriculture after five years following the rehabilitation of their village tank by SPWD and a local partner, the Rural Development Society. To increase the water holding capacity of this tank, desiltation of the tank bed was one option. However, raising the height of the bund by one meter proved to be a cheap alternative. This effectively increased the tank's water holding capacity. The villagers used the saved money to repair the tank's leaking sluice gate. The villagers, with the help of SPWD, constructed supply channels through which tank water flows to the command area. These supply channels, using gravitational flow, have made distribution of irrigation water a less labor-intensive task. Appropriate maintenance of the sluice gate and these supply channels minimizes water wastage. The excess weir, which had sprung leaf, was also repaired. The villagers have contributed their 25% towards tank restoration through labor. Now there's work for everyone and our children can have a better future. This tank's command area is now green with paddy. In Adepali village in Anantapur district, the village surface irrigation tank was converted into a percolation tank. By sealing the sluice gates, the water is left standing in the tank. This water slowly percolates through the tank bed into the underground aquifers. Percolation tanks raise the groundwater table in the area. Farmers can access the water using wells. One year after the Adepalli tank was converted into a percolation tank, the area irrigated by the nine bore wells around the tank rose by 24 acres. In Atmakur village, repair work was carried out on the tank bun, excess weir and sluice gate. As is common in regions with semi-arid agroclimatic conditions, severe drought hit the area in 1997. The harvest of the Atmakur farmers was spared solely due to the stable supply of irrigation from the repaired tank. In Kalpanayana Agraharam, the local villagers used traditional stone revetment to strengthen the tank bun. Despite high cost, they saved part of the funds by contributing labor and now intend to use the money to repair the tank's sluice gate. Their efforts ensured that in spite of the drought in 1997, Local farmers harvested two crops. Apart from increases in command areas, tank restoration has enabled farmers to have two crop growing seasons by providing irrigation during the dry season. Farmers are now also able to grow more commercially viable crops like paddy with less risk, thereby doubling their annual income. Our life is only agriculture. To grow crops, we need water. The tank was there before, but was in disrepair. We couldn't even irrigate 400 acres. Now, after restoration, it's good. We can irrigate 600 acres with excess water. In 
In addition to boosting agriculture in Rail Seema, tank restoration has also given rise to various tank related employment generating schemes. There are about 30 educated unemployed young people in the village. They have decided to start a brick making unit using the desilted soil from the tank bed to make the bricks. They also plan to cultivate fish in the tank. Both these activities will be started within this year and they estimated that they will earn over 2 lakhs per year. These activities will generate income for them and also contribute to the tank maintenance. Before restoration, we used to earn about 6,000 rupees per year, but now we can be sure of 10 to 15. Our first crop was very good. After taking the second crop, there was still water left in the tanks, so we planted the third crop. Before the harvest of the third crop, the tanks had filled up again. The improvements in the economy of this region have led to various social benefits. Alongside the agricultural benefits, tank rehabilitation has also had various environmental benefits. Due to the rise in groundwater levels, many open wells have been recharged and bow wells are overflowing. Tanks also provide water for livestock that earlier had to be slaughtered during the dry season. The planting of the local agave cacti along cedar channels checks land degradation by preventing the erosion of valuable topsoil. This also decreases silt accumulation in tank beds and cedar channels. Thus, tank maintenance is inextricably linked with the maintenance of the region's environment. This traditional system, however, is only sustainable if long-term regular maintenance is provided for the tank. To encourage the active participation of local farmers in tank and water management, tank management committees were formed for each village tank. Money was handed over to them. The decisions, all the decisions regarding the technologies to be employed or material to be used left to them. In this process, we got a very good results. We given them total transparency. Budgets are prepared on the spot with them. Returning control of tanks and their waters to the local farmers is a major step towards re-establishing traditional tank systems in Rail Seema. Hoping to create a sense of ownership and responsibility for the tanks amongst the local villagers, SPWD demands that local people contribute labour towards tank restoration. This methodology ensures the sustainability of maintenance and development of the village tanks. Innumerable dysfunctional tanks still lie in the way of a tank revolution, which, if realized, will bring about a holistic regeneration of Rail Seema's environment and ecology, proving that man and nature can work in harmony.